Let us build a water level indicator circuit now. So here's how the final prototype would look like. As you keep adding water, the LEDs glow. You will need the following components for the circuit. Let us start by learning how a transistor works. It has three terminals, collector, base and emitter. We are not going to learn how it works internally in this tutorial, but we will learn how to use it as a black box. In this circuit, we use the transistor as a switch. And here's how it has to be connected. The values of the resistors come under the design aspect which will not be covered in this video. If we connect pin A to 5 volts, the current flows from the battery through the transistor and back to the battery. An LED connected at the emitter will glow if A has 5 volts and will not glow if A has 0 volts or if A is an open circuit. Here's how the water level indicator circuit works. We have 4 points A, B, C and D. The out corresponding output LEDs glow depending on the voltage given at these 4 points. For example, if A is given 5 volts, the corresponding LED glows. If A is given 0 volts or if it's an open circuit, that LED does not glow. This is how we have to connect the wires in a container. As the water keeps filling, A gets connected to 5 volts first, then B, then C and finally D. Whenever these points are connected to 5 volts, the corresponding LEDs glow. If you look at the transistor from the flat side, it's collector, base and emitter. Connect the circuit as shown in the block diagram and it should work. To debug the circuit, connect the points A, B, C and D to, to 5 volts directly instead of putting them in water and see if the LEDs glow. I hope you learnt a lot and enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.